The US Army has ordered 83 more striker combat vehicles equipped with 30mm cannons from Oshkosh Defense, worth $99 million to outfit another brigade combat team. The service selected Oshkosh in June following a competition to upgun double V Hull A1 striker infantry carrier vehicles with a medium caliber weapon system. Oshkosh and its partners Pratt Miller Defense and Raphael Advanced Defense Systems beat out a Leonardo DRS Moog team, as well as a General Dynamics Land Systems Kongsberg team. When Oshkosh won the competition, the Army placed its first order covering 91 vehicles valued at roughly $130 million. The Army could build up to six striker brigades with the medium-caliber weapon system version, so the potential contract value is roughly $942 million over six years. The first unit to receive the medium-caliber weapon system strikers will be the I-2 Striker Brigade Combat Team out of Joint Base lewis McCord in Washington State. Fielding will be complete by December 2023 with that unit, Colonel Bill Venable, the program manager for the Striker Brigade Combat Team within Program Executive Office Ground Combat Systems, told reporters June 3. The Army decided to outfit three out of six of its brigades equipped with strikers with 30mm guns, following an Army Requirements Oversight Council review evaluating the performance of the 30mm Striker Dragoon, operated in Europe by the 2nd Cavalry Regiment. The Army Chief of Staff directed the Army to ensure the new medium-caliber weapon system capability be applied to the more mobile protected DVHICVVA-1, which will be the basis for the future striker fleet. Since receiving the initial award, Oshkosh Defense's production representative system, Sample began government risk mitigation testing, a planned component of the medium-caliber weapon system program schedule, Oshkosh said in an August 10 news release. As part of the risk mitigation testing, soldiers have had the opportunity to interact with the Oshkosh Defense Medium Caliber Weapon System. The feedback from the first soldier touchpoint has been very positive and reaffirms our soldier-centric design, Pat Williams, Company Vice President of U.S. Army and U.S. Marine Corps programs, said in the statement.